Every wine has its own special vinification, designed to enhance the specific characteristics of certain grapes. It also needs to be aged according to the characteristics you want the final product to have. Aging times are shorter for younger wines, which are appreciated for their freshness and lightness. Instead, longer aging enhances the body, structure and roundness of certain wines. Short aging can last from a few months up to about six months, while longer aging, whether in the cellar or in the bottle, starts from six months and can last up to several years. Each aging process has its own type of container. For instance, aging in steel vats is usually done for shorter periods of time to help maintain a wine's freshness and aromas. Aging in wood is different, whether it is a small wooden container like a barrique or a larger thick wooden one, as with a barrel. Different aging processes determine the specific way in which a wine evolves. Fragrances change and become more intense. They also evolve, their fruity qualities being replaced by spicy tinges. Well, from the taste point of view, the sharp edges which remain inside the wine produced by tannins and anthocyanins must soften and acquire their own fullness. The life of the wine does not end when it is bottled. In fact, this is when the aging period begins. It is true that the glass bottle and its closure are a sealed and rather inert container, but wine, being a living liquid, can evolve and change over time inside the bottle. And it's important also to have the right type of closure. Whether it's a technical closure, a natural single piece cork, or an agglomerated cork made of particles, it must keep the wine in the best possible way inside the bottle.